two. She's my madness, stripping down my sanity. She took my mind from me, I break her and a thief. What keeps it classless, and blurs the lies and I in between. I won't deny the truth if I'm mad, I'm mad for you. I won't deny the truth if I'm mad, I'm mad for you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So good. That's Boz. He apparently goes by Boz now, yeah. guys. Yeah, hey, guys. I mean, you know, you remember him, Matt. What's up? Bossler. That's right. And he's been on the show many times. That's how, me. how many guys. times now? A lot. Yeah. He's a mainstay. You guys are so sweet today. to me. Yeah. You guys are just too yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. a music show now. Um, but uh, it's oh, the I'm, Matt show. I'm, I'm all for that. Yeah, me too. Um, but here's something you don't hear every day, and we're so, so, so... So excited to make this announcement. I could not wait to sit my butt in this chair and make this announcement today. So excited! <laughs> okay, Boz is even more excited than I am, all right? This has been years in the making. I mean, we have been discussing this for how many years, guys? At least a half of a year, yeah, right? At least a half, at least, at least at least a half, a half six one. months. Okay, for sure. right. Roughly. So we're super, <laughs> super, super, super excited about this. And I just um. wanted to come up with a really clever way to make this announcement. So I think I've done it, but I'm going to need some help from you guys. I'm ready. All right. And I think I might need some help too from. All right, well, Prescott, I'm going to let you stand here. Just stand here. Okay, you can put your camera down for just a second because there's four, th there, I need four people. Okay, so you're going to stand there. We are going to determine by our audience participation right now, the vote of our audience members, which how many are, I mean, like 150 people showed up today for the show. We really appreciate you guys. 154. 154. Rob, Insert Q applaud here. Noise. Yes, right. cue background noise, a lot of it real quick. Okay, so we're going to let them decide, do we reveal at once or do we reveal individually? Individually, but at once. Random. Mm. Randomly. Mm. Oh, I love that. Mm. Okay, that's a. That's why Rob, everybody, is our director. You guys see Rob? Give him a round of applause. Good thing we got the audience here today. Rob, cue yeah. round of applause. Cue <laughs> round of applause for the audience. Okay, so we'll let Rob call out the individuals, and we will reveal something, and then we'll help to make sense of it after the reveal. Okay. Lucas. Oh, wow. Music. M. Music. Prescott. M. Mid. Could it be mid? Mid. Mid. Maddie Boss. Mid. Awards. A. Awards, did you say? And Awards, that's right. Angela. That's right, the A-team, baby. <laughs> and I stand for America. Mama. In America, we stand. This is Mama, everybody. The Mid America Music Awards. Awards. That's right. Boom. Coming. And, and it's hosted by Produce, Perform, and Growing Media, which is the production company producing this show so you know it's going to be incredible. It's coming 2023. Yes. Can we say the date? Well, we can, but if you're you watching wait? this in 25, that's when we launched. We launched right. October 5th, 5th yes. of 2023, 2023, everybody. That's yeah. right. October That's 5th. the big night. I mean, just sit back and take that in for a second. I mean, the Grammys, the Oscars will have absolutely nothing on the Mid-America Music Awards. Are you ready to go back to taking pictures? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mark it down. Put it right. in your calendars. It's going to be fantastic. It is. And, and you know, we, we're doing this in part because you heard the incredible music when we uh, began this show uh, with, with Matt. That's I mean, it's just... Amazing to hear these people we have on this show and other shows and outperforming. And um, we've decided that we're not going to go all the way into the big city. So we're sorry, right. Nashville, St. Louis, Chicago. Little Rock. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. We're going to stop at Clarksville. We're going to stop at, I mean, what? A, I'm terrible with geography. We're going to try, try to primarily stick to the Heartland area the Heartland. with a little bit outside. Yes, of the yes. Area too, but. And you're wearing an artist's t shirt. I am, right? actually. She's shout been out, on the show. Shout out to Heather Hammers. Oh, man. Heather she's Hammers. awesome. She's a local artist. Fantastic. Yeah. And there's tons, tons, tons of local talent tons. around here that. So much hidden talent. You know, they deserve, yeah. they deserve some they deserve pats it. on the back. They deserve yeah. some, they deserve you know. Yeah. Like, hey, 
good job, good work. We're recognizing you. You're doing a great job. Keep doing what you're doing. That's right. You know, really supporting the craft of our local musicians, and it's so important for the local music scene. I think That's it's a right. great, great idea. Yeah, oh. and there's going to be like phenomenal prizes for each winner of each mm-hmm. category. Um, That's right. You know, it could be like a record deal or. Woo! Uh, recording or a music video produced by Growing Media. Of oh man, that that's um, worth like fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that was mm. the cost. So of the last it's one. gonna mm. be, it's just gonna be really, really killer. First one's gonna be in Marion, Illinois, um, at the Civic Center in Marion. It's gonna right. be, it's gonna be awesome. Well, they were so excited that they wanted to do. Normally, you think you have to to pay for a venue, right. and they said no. This is this is gonna be big, and we'd like to do a portion of the door, yeah. just like a big name act coming to town, boss. Yeah, I know it's gonna be amazing. Because, because we, I cannot we are wait. a big name. We act. are a big name. Yeah. It's it's hard. I mean, we want to stay humble. Well, it's a bunch of small names yeah. that creates one. And big it name. creates mm-hmm. one big name. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be great, Mama. Look for it. I know if you're an artist, you're already you're no longer watching this broadcast. You're getting your tape ready to go, right? You're gonna upload your song or, yeah. or whatever, and mm-hmm. um, we'll be putting out that information of how to enter. Um, and we promise it's going to be legit. You will either be judged by your peers in another area of the country, which is much like the Emmys are judged, mm. or um, we're, we're also going to have a popularity, popular vote online. And you'll notice that we, we are going to require, I think it's a $1 vote, yeah. and that's to keep bots from that's taking right. over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's yep. legit. So you can't get on there and start manipulating the system. That's right. Right. It's going to be real. You know. We're going to have an accounting firm. Exactly. Like somebody real important. We're going to make sure this is cost? legit. Are they? Okay. No. It, it may not be a, like, okay, we have to spend a lot on an accounting firm. Good we'll, thing we don't have we'll, to. We'll figure it out. We'll negotiate it. Yeah, yeah. Right. It'll be fine. But you know okay. what? We're, everybody's a winner in this situation. Everybody. Like it's great to bring spotlight to local artists. Yes. And this is just going to be a great way to do it. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be, uh, I do a lot of uh, music showcases with local artists all the time, and it's you such do. a fun time getting everybody together and getting yeah. to watch each other play because yeah. we're always so busy. We're yeah. always playing every weekend, yeah. so yeah. don't get to go see anybody else play. So these showcases are a great way to bring artists together, and this is going to be like that on steroids. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm absolutely very excited. We had, we had someone appear on the show not long ago that said, you know, if you do something like that, I don't think we, we let it out, but we said, you know, would you be interested in something like that? Mm. And he says, um, you know, not just for the trophies, not for the awards, but to be with with right. people I respect exactly. and to watch them. And um, we will have some performances that night as well. Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead and be uh, getting your good stuff out. And even if we started with all of the musical talent we've had on the spiel, Rob, we would be at what number? I mean... <laughs> Really, like ten years worth one year on segment for ten years. Probably over a thousand. Would it be a thousand? Yeah, man. Could be. All right, and they're going to hear from us because we haven't had a lot of the only repeat talent we've had is Mr. Superstar, right? (laughs) So, and and you know, good thing we brought him on. Guess what he thought about? So we were looking at a. Saturday night, right? And he goes, yeah. um, you understand that's the work week for musicians, right? And yep. I went, oh. It's go time <laughs> for musicians. So it's a Thursday. Yep. That's yep. why we have him as in a, a consultant, right? Yeah. Right. You're so smart. That way I can still go to work, you know? <laughs> I mean, go to geez. work and make some money. Got to put some food on the table for these babies. That's right. All right, <laughs> listen, we're going to get to it so we can hear Boz perform. We're going to have some people in the kitchen. We've got an inventor here today. Whew, we got a whole lot to do. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Yay! That's big! And I thought to myself, well, they need a crock pot to keep stuff cold. <gasps> and that's where the idea for Chillware was born. And it was born. Across the island, I've hidden clues. You will have to closely observe each other. If anyone can name the killer, that person wins our game. It's the weekend, and your symptoms are worsening. The morning of a big meeting, and you have a bigger sore throat. Ever experienced that urgency after picking up your sick child and your community health center has already closed? You will be able to connect to a provider at crhpc.org. Even if you have never been to CRHPC, you are welcome to utilize our services. Feel better after scheduling a video visit with CRHPC. So how many times have you said, man, I wish somebody would think of that. You know, like we, we need this and that's exactly what Brian Roberts did. This is known as chillware right now. We'll explain the premise of the story, the premise of this technology. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so he called and he goes, hey, I have this invention and I want to come on and talk about it. And I'm like, okay, what you got? So it started with a pool party, I understand. It did. Okay. What, what happened? 
So I went to a pool party potluck at a friend's for 4th of July a mm -hmm. few years ago. And, mm -hmm. you know, every, everybody has to bring a dish. I thought, 4th of July, you have to have potato salad. So I told my friend, I'll bring the potato salad. Right. I took the potato salad. Of course, it was 105 degrees. We're Hot. outside at the That's pool. That's right. And I spent all day with an ice bath trying to keep the potato salad cold. Mm. Nobody ate the potato salad. Because they're worried about, and as, you know, it as I was up. sitting there trying to figure out, and it was my potato salad, so of course it was fabulous. Fabulous. Um, but nobody ate it. So as I'm trying to figure out how to keep it cold so people will eat it, mm -hmm. somebody next to my potato salad had put a queso dip in a crock pot. And I thought to myself. That person's the reason that you had to go get all the ice. Yes. It kept yes. yes. Okay. And I thought to myself, well, they need a crock pot to keep stuff cold. <gasps> and that's where the idea for Chillware was born. And it was born. You didn't take this lovely dish when you went to the uh, the party? I did not. I, I was uh, a lot less skilled of a cook back this then. This looks like a 4th of July presentation. But anyway, yes. so what people don't know about the process, right? When you have an idea, then you have to go through certain steps and phases and testing. So tell us where we are with the process now and, and what you've had to go through to get to this point. So it started out with an original idea of, again, a crock pot that keeps stuff cold. Mm -hmm. So we had to look and see. I started looking into, is there te the technology available right. for this? And there was, but it was really expensive. Okay. So we started looking at alternate technologies. I contacted an engineer, um, a thermal uh, engineer in thermal dynamics, mm -hmm. and um, he we kind of worked through this, and it started out again as a as a crock pot idea that kept stuff cool, but we kept going through our focus group, which is basically what you do. friends and family, right. and what do you think about this right. idea, and what do you think about that idea? So it morphed from an original kind of crock pot design into the design we have now, mm -hmm. which is we decided to go with a standard size baking dish, smart um, nine by thirteen, right, so that it would uh, keep stuff. You could prepare uh, foods in it, a one as well dish. as place place yes. foods in it. Yes. So we developed it so it's because uh, this lifts out, right? Correct. Okay, so this lifts out, and then the plate is incredibly cold. In this instance, yes, this is the cooling device right? here. Right. So essentially, here we it's a pretty straightforward device. We mm -hmm. have a an on and off switch, mm -hmm. and then we have a cool or a hot switch. Um, we designed this so it'll run on 110, okay. it'll run on 12 volt, uh, so the uh, car adapters, and we also, it will run on a battery pack, so oh, nice. you could take this to a park where okay. you don't have, or camping where you don't have access to uh, electricity, mm -hmm. plug in the battery pack, and it will maintain your food at temp. Okay, the only other thing I would add, just because, I mean, we're seeing it everywhere now, you also have to include a USB port so you can charge your phone while you're cooling or warming your food. Just saying. Good I thought. Mean, Good huh? thought. I'll, I will get a hold of Tony. <laughs> I will get a hold of Tony tomorrow. Well, that's and add the problem. That People don't understand is every time you do a revision, it is so costly, right? It, it is. Yes. So we've went through to kind of perfect our design. Mm -hmm. We've we've went through three versions of prototypes. Okay. Um, and now we're ready for production. Nice. We hope to uh, finalize our first production order um, tomorrow. You better get yours now. I mean, why the going's good because these things, and, and you know, you've thought of everything. Tell me about the handles again. You can take the handles off, you can clean it all very well, and there's no issue, right? Correct. So again, the, the, it was designed to be able to be used in the oven. So mm -hmm. we've used a food grade, the pan's made of a food grade stainless steel mm -hmm. that's also very thermoconductive. Um, you can place it in the oven. We have these removable, removable handles here Brilliant. so that when you go to take it out of the oven, you mm -hmm. can just place those back on, they slide back on. Nice. And you don't need oven mitts, heating pads, things like that. I think you've done it, my friend. It, it's Good also job. dishwasher safe. You throw it, when you're done, throw it in your dishwasher and it cleans. Brilliant. And your friends are going to hope that you leave the device at the pool party when you go next time because they're like, I really like that. Yes. And I, and, but you won't leave it because it'll well, be. I hope it actually, it, I hope it actually gets to where I get invited to more pool parties. And then he might leave it. We don't because know. Because they, they hope that I bring it. All right, Brian Roberts, Chillware. Anything else you want to add? or? No, uh, we'll be coming to market the first of next year. Um, check us out on uh, Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. And, uh, again, we're hopefully placing our first production order tomorrow, so we should have uh, units available for sale early in the year. And any comments, any feedbacks from your Great viewers, yes. I would love to either contact your site, yes. however they do that, or, or come on our Facebook or Instagram page, give us comments, give us suggestions, love that. give us recipes. Um, 
we look forward to any input we can. Invite us to your pool party. Just yes. saying. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. I must insist that nobody touch the body. Jeez, detective, who killed the party? You don't just do hot sausage, you do extremely hot sausage. Yeah, we that, do a wide that, range. That, that one okay. is very hot. It gave me confidence to actually start working on other people's cars. And if you don't feel like you know something, they'll teach you. You never feel like there's something you can't do. Getting, you know, the fundamentals I need to apply when I go into the field, I know I'll probably have a job before I even leave the program. You're going for a degree, it's two years. That is a short span to learn, and classes are fast. Get you in, get you out, and get you the knowledge. My name is Dr. Siddharth Chandra. If you are depressed or if you have any serious mental health issues, it affects everything you do, from everyone you talk to, your interactions, the way you feel whether you can work or not. You know, the thing about mental health is, is it's basically the software that runs your entire body. Where we're located and the resources we have available to us, we're usually able to get people in within a couple of days, the same day sometimes. We can do whatever we need to do to make sure that your mental health is well taken care of. We do IV sedation in our practice. I've been doing it for about 17 years. The big advantage of IV sedation is obviously for people that are scared to go to the dentist. It makes them feel relaxed, comfortable, and sleepy. It's also good because we do longer procedures sometimes, and we can do multiple procedures in one visit. It's something that makes us unique and is a great service to the public because there's no one else in the area that does that. You know, I rely on uh, Ryan a whole heap. Um, you know, I kind of present something. I'll come and say, what about this? And then he goes, great, let's try this and let's try this. And that's it evolves, you know, as we shoot it, which is just the, the best way. But I just want to be as prepped as I possibly can so that I'm not having to think about the accent, think about the lines, think about it's just it's a, it, it's there it's there on call and then I can also throw it away and do something else. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Estilos with the Spiel on Entertainment and I'm here at the Motion Picture Academy Museum in Los Angeles, California for the LA premiere of the new film Glass Onion. Now this film is the highly anticipated sequel to the 2019 smash hit Knives Out and it stars Edward Norton, Daniel Craig and Kate Hudson. And if this film is anything like its predecessor, Glass Onion is destined to be a box office hit. Across the island, I've hidden clues. You will have to closely observe each other. If anyone can name the killer, that person wins our game. Any questions? <laughs> Ali Barry, uh, that has a kick. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Ryan, what a great ensemble in this film. What was it like for you putting this cast together and what were you expecting from them all? Every movie, it's the same thing. I kind of just write the script and then sit down with my casting director, Mary Vernu, and we figure out, okay, who, who can work in these parts? And I feel like I got so lucky with this. I must feel like lightning struck twice because not just the caliber of actors, but similar to with the first movie, everyone was a genuinely good person <laughs> and we all and they all clicked and got along and supported each other as an ensemble. Um, and that's, I mean, that's kind of like a little mini miracle. It's pretty amazing. Now the nexus of this film being Daniel Craig is the central character. Certainly he made a, an incredible impression in the first film. So when you were working out this film with Daniel approaching this second uh, sequel here, what was it that you wanted him to bring to his character that was a little different than the last time? Well, in terms of the story of this one, it's a little different because in the first movie, we're kind of coming into the story through Anna de Armas's character, Marta, through her eyes. And Blanc was a little more on the periphery of it. Whereas in this one, we start with Blanc and we come into this mystery through his eyes and he, we're absorbing a lot of uh, the first part of the story through with him. Um, so by its necessity, we're a little bit more seeing it through his eyes, which I thought was really interesting. It was a fun thing to kind of figure out with Daniel, see a little bit more of this guy. I must insist that nobody touched the body. Jeez, detective, who killed the party? I need to find a motive for murder. Everyone would stab a friend in the back to hold on. Mm -mm -mm. 
and Janelle Monet. I mean, we are talking about a spectacular performance there, a multifaceted performance. When you were approaching her and talking over this role, you know, how did you present it to her and encourage her to take on what is a pretty significant undertaking? It's a beast of a part. It, it asks, and also it asks everything you can possibly ask of an actor. She has to be funny, she has to do physical comedy, she has to do action physical stuff, she has to, you name it, she has to go to deep emotional places and really wrench her heart out. It, it's, it asked everything I've ever I could have and she just more than rose to the occasion, she soared past it and uh, I watch her performance and what she pulled off, I'm just, I'm, I feel so lucky to have her in the movie, I feel still just in awe of her as an artist, man. Kate Hudson was telling us earlier about her experience, her significant experience as a dancer, and she wanted you to sort of keep that in mind in terms of you, the both of you working out the interpretation of Birdie, which is an amazing character, by the way. Well, Kate has, I mean, she the physicality of it she locked into really quickly. And there's a lot in Birdie and the way that um, she just moves through a space where you can see the performative kind of element of it. And Kate clicked into that. Kate's also, I mean, she's just such a smart comedic actor. And it takes a really intelligent, really tuned in actor to take a part that's this broad and have it feel defined and real and, and genuinely funny. So um, yeah, Kate's amazing. Look at that. As the writer and also, of course, the director of this film, when you're putting this down on the, the written page, and with a large cast of actors, there's got to be some room for improvisation. So how do you approach that when you're writing the script, knowing that some additional things that you hadn't thought of on the printed page is going to end up on the, on the film? I mean, to me, that's kind of the fun part. I mean, you know, you try and get as good as you can on the page. And, and really, we do stick to the scripts in these, in these movies. You kind of have to because of the nature of them. But... There's always room to play around on set. I would be an idiot to not to have Katherine Hahn on our set and not like <laughs> have her riff occasionally, or Kate, or you know, or Daniel, or Edward. You know, it's it's uh, to me that that's part of the fun part is I have the version of it on the page. I've already seen that movie in my head. I want to get on set and see what the actors are going to bring to it. Um, that's where the joy happens. Now, there's two characters that at least were unexpected in terms of the, the cast. We have the Jared Leto drink and the Jeremy Renner hot sauce. So how were they cast to be such a significant part in this film? Well, I, 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 I'm a big fan of both of those guys, and, and, and I think, and, but thankfully, both of them have a sense of humor. <laughs> and, so, and so, yeah, and I would, man, I would totally buy, you know, Jeremy Renner hot sauce. Are you kidding? He, I think he should put it on the shelves. I think that would be a good move. I think we have some merchandising working yeah, out for this one. Let's do it. Come on. All right. <laughs> Again, it's an amazing film. I want to thank you for putting together such a great project, yeah, and uh, looking forward to seeing more. Yeah. Are you calling me dangerous? Well, we'll see. Let it all out. Hell yeah! This is reckless. The killer wouldn't hesitate to kill again if it covers their tracks. You must be really great at Clue, huh? I'm very bad at dumb things. Ticking boxes, running around, searching all the rooms. It's just a terrible, terrible game. And the powers fade And we live with what we've made We get old and watch our superheroes die And Jacob has agreed to allow Mariah to slam him to the floor. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that it's going to go like that. I kind of hope it does.
I'm Brandon Stover, and I am the lead criminal justice instructor here at John A. Logan College. I worked in law enforcement for an extended period of time before I came here to teach uh, criminal justice at John A. Logan. I would say it's very inspiring, especially since he's dibbled and dabbled in multiple things within the corrections field, and he can tell us real life stories about his experience. It's really encouraging, and it really just pushes and motivates me to really want to go into the field. How's everybody doing? Matt Bosler here. I'm going to play you guys a song called Our Superheroes Die. This one goes out to my children, and this is hopefully um, a legacy that I can leave for them that I can communicate to them even after my passing. So, uh, this is called Our Superheroes Die. <laughs> Used to think everyone older had it figured out But lately it's been hard for me to Bear the clout that things are not the way they seem And happy endings a fleeting dream We were younger looking up those we thought that we could trust To always be there, right the wrongs Help us rise when we would fall But the stories end, the powers fade And we live with what we've made We get old and watch our superheroes die Now that I'm getting older, I am feeling strange What will my three children think of dad when they think of me? Was I the man I tried to be? The superhero I wish would have saved me We were younger looking up those we thought that we could trust To always be there, right the wrongs Help us rise when we would fall But the stories end, the powers fade And we live with what we made We get old and watch our superheroes die My sweet babies If I could only hold you now If I didn't have to go I'll find my way back to you somehow And when you hear my voice Right now into the ways Just know that daddy's okay And I miss and I love you I miss you, I love you
All right, are you guys ready to torment one Prescott I'm dog? I'm excited about this. This will take right, a little. In. This will take a little while to hit. So an Americana is. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to stop. Okay. We you promise to... that no one's been injured say. yet in the making of this video. In the making yeah. of this video. I okay. see why you have medals. The Student Success Center is an interesting place because it brings together several different resources for students. The Tutoring Center, the Writing Center, Counseling, the TRIO Program, and Disability Services. What's amazing is that one student may actually need all of those services and now we can all work really well together to identify what the student needs, make sure that they get it quickly, and then work collaboratively to make sure that support system stays strong. We continue to offer individual outpatient therapy, family therapy. We also offer video visits. We basically want everybody to know that you're not alone. Going through this pandemic, going through any stress that happens, uh, anxiety, depression, grief, we are here for you. We all have vulnerabilities. It's highly treatable, highly manageable, and there is access. And we want to make it so easy that you just walk in and we'll take it from there. My name is Cordell. I'm a patient of Dr. Hughes for the last eight years. I had a lot of work done, had implants put in, a lot of teeth pulled out. I, I would contribute him to saying he saved my life. I was really in bad shape. I had periodontist gum disease. When I came over and discussed it with him and everything, he did x-rays. He said, we got a job ahead of us that I can do it. And he did it. I got a beautiful smile now, and I don't have headaches like I used to. So come on over and see him. He's one of the best in the area. And we are spieling it in our Prairie Farms kitchen today. And I feel like we should open this segment with the theme song from Green Acres. <laughs> Is that what I heard? That's, uh, yeah, we did take a cue from that. Uh-huh. We have Derek and Libby Irvin. And you guys came from Chicago, now living in southern Illinois. So you just the opposite part of the state there. Mm -hmm. World's different. Correct? A little bit. A little yeah. bit, little yeah. Bit. But the perfect place to launch this business, Glacier's End, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you guys are doing all sorts of specialty foods and shrubs and drinking vinegars, hot sauces, pickled, uh, what, what does this say? Pickled items, jam? Mm -hmm. I mean, the list goes on and on, okay? A lot. It is, yes. I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> Good job. Thank Thanks. you. Thank Take you. a bow. Thank How do you, you feel? <laughs> Great. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. The labeling, the product, there's something so satisfying about seeing the labors of your work, or the fruits of your labor, I should say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No pun intended. Though. <laughs> <laughs> How did it all come about? We, uh, Derek is from Southern Illinois and Heron uh, originally. Okay. We met so in you already knew. Yeah. We uh, met in Chicago and moved down here uh, to take over the family farm and really just started, we planted an orchard. We have trees that are growing. Nice. Um, and really started looking at our land to kind of see what we had and what we can make, so. Yeah, so we planted our trees and, you know, it takes a while for the trees to start right. fruiting. So we right. just kind of looked around at the property and said, hey, you know, what do we have here that's growing by itself on its own nice. that we can use? And so that kind of just, uh, one thing led to another, and it ends up we use a lot of native uh, native stuff and, mm -hmm. and things that just naturally occur on our Are already there. Sure. Most of the stuff we're going to be working with today is going to be the the puckers and the, okay. the shrubs. Okay. Uh, pucker is a variation of a shrub that we've kind of come up with uh, where we add citrus and other acidifying agents in addition to vinegar. Okay. Um, to make you go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They go and so, um, and then we do other things like pickle items. We do hot jellies and uh, sweet jellies. We do hot sauces, mm -hmm. uh, more grill sauces and stuff like that. You don't just do hot sauces. You do extremely hot. Sauces. Yeah, we that, do a wide that, range. That okay. that one okay. is very hot. Not to scare you off, but we do have a volunteer. <laughs> we will torture at the end of this. So stay tuned for that. So we've got some orange juice going here. Mm -hmm. um, this is one that I just kind of feel out. This is kind of based off of something my mom used to make over the holidays, uh, which we call wassail. Oh, um, so yes. it's a it's kind of a mulled cider thing. Love that. We're going to be using the ginger snap, which Ooh. is a seasonal we do during the holidays. Um, okay. It's a uses two different types of ginger, and it's kind of got a spiciness to it, nice. which I think will go good with the um, with the orange juice. None of our products have alcohol, but they all play very well with very it. Very nice, okay. So it, it's kind of like back in the day uh, as well, you would remember my grandparents, um, they would have that big vinegar jar with whatever mm -hmm. the, what do they call the mother in there mm -hmm. or whatever, and mm -hmm. they would take a, what, teaspoon, mm -hmm. sip, mm -hmm. swig of that every day. And oh yeah. 
keeps the elements away? Mm -hmm. or? Mm -hmm. So this can, can serve as the same purpose. People okay. like it because it has that... Um, People use these in regular water, sparkling just for flavor. Nice. Um, you can cook with them like sauces, and then we'll also show here in a little bit, uh, you can make vinaigrettes with them. Oh, that's awesome. And I love it. It's, it's you know, you, you guys claim you're not organic, but anything you're going to grow, you're going to make sure not to put the pesticides and we things like that. We don't spray anything that's okay. not OMRI certified. Very so, nice. Yeah. Do you already have your product on a shirt? I do. Dude, you are so forward thinking. Look at that marketing right there. This is probably our most popular product that we make and sell our old squirrel hot sauce. So. Okay. And you have a website. Obviously, people can get stuff or we now do. they can come to the brick and mortar. Yep. So mm -hmm. where do you want them to go online? Um, really, the Facebook probably is our best. Okay. Um, our website, we're kind of ramping it up. Okay. Um, we're also in uh, several farmers markets, the Carbondale Community Winter Market that just started. That's Very a lot nice. of fun. Very so um, you can very find good. our stuff at a lot of different places. Okay. Uh, very nice. It's uh, very, you. very hot. Okay. This is an, an, your ode to the way mom did it, right? right? Is that what we're doing? Yep. Okay. It smells great. Wow. Add a little rum to that, too. Girl, sure. I feel like I'm already on the farm with you guys. Now they can cue the music. Yeah. We're going to do a salad dressing now that would obviously be, you know, people like to throw what balsamic and the olive oil, but this goes a step further and, mm -hmm. and a lot more flavors, mm -hmm. obviously, and, yep. and better. Yeah. So one of the beauties of the shrubs is their versatility. Okay. So you can use them uh, in cocktails or, or, or mocktails or... We're going to do a vinaigrette here. You can nice. also use them in sauces or marinades or anything like that as okay. well. Okay, that's a good thing. And I tell you, this is this is always good to put on like, uh, so Prairie Farms is a, the sponsor of our kitchen segment. We always do the, um, uh, what is that? The cheese, cream the cheese. cream cheese mm -hmm. and pour that over the top yep. and get the crackers. That yep. lasts about five minutes in the yeah. studio. Yeah, it's So gone. we're very big us specifically in charcuteries. Mm -hmm. You know, when we go places, we like to try different things to sample. Um, so a lot of our stuff that we make kind of goes along those lines. Right. You know, the pickled stuff, the hot pepper jellies. Right, um, okay. So. Nice things to put in baskets for people around the holidays. Too, Great gift, gift items, birthday items. Okay. Um, good way to get people to try what we do. Awesome. Nice. Okay, that's amazing. We can sell that to restaurants <laughs> and let them take the credit for the salad dressing, that's fine. So with the cold drink, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use the autumn plum tart, which is more of a berry kind of mm. thing. So I did four, shot, four um, ounces of the shrub. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Now, do you make your own? Is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe one, Maybe someday. Down the road. Yeah. We prefer, uh, this is a rum that we got in southern Indiana uh, from a distillery by where we got married. So, oh, nice. Yeah, little, little bias towards it. Has a it. lot of meaning to you. It then. does. It's, sure a, does. it's a toasted coconut rum. Okay. Yes. Yep. I like that. And then I'm just going to top it off with some Italian orange soda. Okay. This is part of the fun of it. It's just trying things out and mixing and this is uh how we do our research and development mm -hmm. at home uh in the evenings that he will present a drink to me i have no idea what it is you're like yay or nay have you said nay ever if it's something that's super super hot i won't say nay but i it's past my heat level mm -hmm. um very rarely is there something that's a nay oh so on the spice level then he'll make something really hot okay sometimes yes all right salute cheers all that good stuff it smells so good too, and it's clean, fresh. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I've never had anything like this. Yeah. It's when people try these just by themselves, they're blown away. They are they're vinegar, they smell like vinegar, it tastes like a juice. Yeah, and the then you goodness. add stuff to it. Yeah. Mm, love that. Love, love, love. All right. Are you guys ready to torment one? I'm, I'm excited about this. This will take right, a little. In. This will take a little while to hit. Center stage. So am I serving myself? Yep. No, you want to serve a spoon? It? No, go so. ahead. So a wolf riot mm -hmm. is a class of star, right? Is the hottest it's class of star in the yeah, universe. Okay. Really? So right before it goes uh, supernova. It's a wolf riot. What is that? No. What is this? That's that's absolutely plenty. 
Are you sure? Yeah. Don't cry on television. <laughs> it's going to be sweet for about 40 about seconds, and 40 then the seconds. heat builds up. Just let it just let it live there for a little bit. Mr. I have sriracha all the time. I'm not saying that like that's walk the spiciest. Us, walk, us, walk us through your thoughts right yeah, now. Yeah, what, what are you it's, feeling? It's got a nice sweet taste. It's what's, building. What's it's building. Yeah, it's um. I can't like it, it's sweet. It's not like a. a is he fruit dying taste. inside now? But is no, he... it's it's building. Okay. So that's that is made with the uh, Reaper, mm -hmm. um, and which is one of my favorite flavors of mm -hmm. of any chili. It's just got that citrusy, almost fruitiness to it. The Reaper. Yeah. Uh, and it's absolutely the fantastic. Yeah, it's it's a good, it's not painful. It's a warm feeling. Good yeah. for you. So. <laughs> that was good. That's not going to help you, though. You'll need to get some milk, some dairy, some yogurt. Prairie uh, Farms. That's take care really of you. good. Uh, yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, guys. The best of luck to you. Love this idea. Love this concept. Love that you guys are doing it together. And just, you don't argue, right, when you're in a business together? We no. have creative differences. Yeah, okay. But <laughs> you're, you're doing a great job, so keep it up. And um, just remember the little people and the spiel effect. Remember that, all right? We appreciate we you having us on. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And we'll be right back. What, what are you trying to do here? Yeah, so, like, the main goal is to be able to... Win. Win. <laughs> uh, in 2023... It's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. Uh, Rob, somebody put a trophy there, thanks. I'm a uh, structural project manager and structural design engineer. So I design buildings and uh, non-building structures. I didn't come from a lot of money, so money was tight and everything that I had to do, I had to pay for myself. So I could work during the summer and I could literally pay for my whole semester and everything just in full, you know, compared to if I went to a university, I'd have to take out a loan. So that was a big thing for me. And another thing was the smaller class sizes. That was really appealing to me. Being in a class of 200 versus 20 or 30, you can really ask questions and get a lot of uh, input from the teachers and professors and, and things like that. So I actually, I've made a lot of friends, lifelong friends at John A, still in touch with them, and some of who I actually work with. So definitely good experience. And then, like I said, all my classes, they taught me a lot and definitely wouldn't be here today without what I learned from John A. But, you know, congratulations. This is Mariah Farley, and she is a, well, you can't say it on TV, but a bad bleep. You know, she you wouldn't want to mess with her. She's like a certified weapon. Is that right? No. No, no. Just all this, listen, you don't win this hardware because you're sweet, all right? And we've already agreed that when she decides to get physical, which is going to happen in this segment, um, I'm going to have a, a stand-in, right? I'm going to have a stunt double for that, so... Uh, congratulations, though, on all your success, and and it's a, a success in a sport, a way to defend yourself. It's jujitsu. Yeah, I started at Pedago. Okay. Doing the kickboxing, the cardio kickboxing class uh -huh. because I had had kids, kids, right? And I was overweight, and I was like, "This is a." Great You're way not to anymore. Weight. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> if this is what this sport will do. I'm in. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, but so I started there doing that, and then they were like, you should try jujitsu. You should try jujitsu. And I was like, no, that, okay. that's a lot of closeness. I don't know how I feel about that. But then eventually they talked me into it. And because I just learned that most of this sport is conducted on the floor. Yes. So you essentially want to uh, put your uh, opponent in some sort of a submissive 
hold or what, what, what are you trying to do here? Yeah, so like the main goal is to be able to win. Win. <laughs> <laughs> Either by points okay. or by submission. And I, I can tell that you've won a lot, so congratulations. Thank um, you. you know, you've come a long way from somebody who didn't want to do it to uh -huh. a, a medal winner. Yes. So we want to see some moves, right? Because I think it's not only a, a sport, a way to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. it, it's just something good to have in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. So if somebody does decide to mess with you, you're like, oh, oh, honey, you just messed up. Okay, Jacob, I'm going to need you because I'm wearing a dress and all this good stuff. So I'm going to move this over. And Jacob has agreed to allow Mariah to slam him to the floor. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that it's going to go like that. I kind of hope it does. But I don't want anybody to get hurt because we don't have a mat. If it does, we got to capture it. You do, right. Do you have a mat right over here? Well, we have a mat. Well, we do. A mat. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so show me something. What you got? Go. Whatever okay. that is. Um, what you want? So... I'm ready. I've never had anybody just like. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Throw me to the floor. She has to chase him around the ring first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got to chase him around the mat. Make him. So. <laughs> tuck her typically, if I'm yeah. trying to take somebody down, typically I'll start behind the head and then I'll pull them down. Oh. Okay. And get up under their arm. And so. I like that. Okay. Keep going. Arm, and then I will snap them down. Oh, way to go, Jacob. <laughs> way, to, way to submit. Way to submit. Love that. Okay. And then typically they don't fall to their side. So sides. easily? Yeah. Yeah. Typically they don't fall to their side. Try not to be such a okay, win. Well, I, okay. This is a demonstration. I'm trying, back to, I'm trying to be a good a subject. Okay, come down. Okay, come back. Okay, am I down yep, still? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so she's got you, Okay. So stay up on your knees. All right, okay. I'm waiting. When you tap out. Or is that the same so, thing? So. Like either I can submit him like this if I wanted to. Okay. But what would he do to get out of that? Uh nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I, felt, I felt like I was in that pretty well. You did. A lot of yeah. people will fight the hands. Okay. So because I've had I have my hands clasped to the okay. side. Okay. So a lot of people will fight the hands so that they don't get choked out. Okay. His face is a little Did red. you feel like you were almost choked out? <laughs> yeah, I was in. I was. I, I, I can see your eyes were a little bulgy. They're a little there. red. Oh, yeah. I should have already tapped for you, right? I should have said you've lost. Well, I mean, if you you got to be a good rep. Okay, you got to let okay. the show go on. All right, one more move. One more move, and I got okay. a feeling yeah, I know who the winner is. Getting and then, staying here. Okay. So typically, I submit my opponents by Americana. Okay. So keep that it involves American. <laughs> keep it American, which it's called Americana because whenever the Americans would go to Brazil to. Do the training. This was their favorite submission, okay. apparently. So, okay. You'd yeah. think they'd catch on after a while, so, the Brazilians, right? Typically, either in half guard, side control, or mount, depending on which is available. Do you have to wear those little tights? Um, you can wear tights. You can okay. also wear a gi. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So, and belt it up. So, an Americana is. Yeah. Does that hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to stop. Okay. We promise that no one's been injured say. yet in the making of this video. In the making yeah. of this video. I okay. see why you have medals. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> that, seemed okay. pretty, that seemed pretty low effort. Guess, Guess what? Guess what? What? Dude, you didn't even, you, you didn't even, <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. You like, kind of like shake her hand. Like Listen, up. she knows she's the winner. We're trying not to insult him so much, okay? Like, this is the obvious winner. There's probably a consolation well, medal over there for you. I'll just dig around in whichever yeah. one's, like, the least shiny. I'll right, just that, take that. Yeah, okay. yeah. That works for me, works for me. All right, and we do encourage you to study the art because, obviously, yes. a lot of people get a lot out of that and uh, very well respected indeed. Yes. Okay. Right. Do you do any kind of say goodbye on the... No. You don't do any of this kind of mm -hmm. stuff? No? We, we just say, bye, y'all. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> It's called the Concrete Jungle. Mm. Look it I up. I don't know that you'll see t-shirts that say, Welcome to the Concrete Jungle. Yes, you I do. I think it's like 100%. the Big Apple.
My name is Dr. Siddharth Chandra. If you are depressed or if you have any serious mental health issues, it affects everything you do, from everyone you talk to, your interactions, the way you feel, whether you can work or not. You know, the thing about mental health is, is it's basically the software that runs your entire body. Where we're located and the resources we have available to us, we're usually able to get people in within a couple of days, the same day sometimes. We can do whatever we need to do to make sure that your mental health is well taken care of. And that was our show for you today. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, it just gets better and better every single week. That's the, that's the only way that we do it. Have we ever said that's a bad show? That was a bad show. I mean, not on camera. No, we, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It's just like when we, when we turn it back, it's like, man, that was really bad. Yeah, we, but, should, we uh, should have done better. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's live to tape. I think that's what people don't understand. This is not scripted. This is not rehearsed. They're like, oh, trust. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but we did make a big announcement today. We did. It was a, a big, big deal. Yeah. And if you guys did not catch the intro of the show, uh, we are doing the Mid America Music Awards uh, for the first time ever uh, in twenty twenty three. It's gonna be. It's gonna oh. be incredible. Uh, Rob, somebody put a trophy there. Thanks. Yeah. Just, um, we don't know what it is yet. But. <laughs> and so, if you are a musician and we want you to, to apply, it's uh, it's it's huge opportunity for you for people to get to know you and mm -hmm. for even possibly a total career change. That's right. It could be huge. If you're We're not a musician, lives. you know a musician. That's um, right. Reach out to them. Let them know about it uh, because this is just a, such a big opportunity that that cannot be missed. Um, for, for any musician that's that's in the Midwest right now. I agree. Yeah. And this could not be missed, this opportunity, just to put you on the spot. I love to put you on the spot. You seem Go to ahead. be so good when you're on the spot. So I was in Chicago this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they call it the Windy City, and I, I think I know why. But it's crazy when you do a little research what you find out, that it perhaps is not called the Windy City for reasons you may think. Oh. Do you know of another reason? You can think on that one because that's not the question. All right, what I'd like to do is I'd like to test your knowledge, nicknames of major cities, okay? Okay. So what do they call New Orleans? Nolens. Oh, gosh, tick, tick, <laughs> tick. Brandon, you got it? It's the big easy. Or no, I mean, your pronunciation could be the other name for it. I mean, it. that's I how they pronounce it. I, 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 lived, I lived there. Yeah. Well, you didn't know it was referred to as the Big Easy? No. Oh, geez. You know. Yeah. Okay. How about Vegas? Oh, gosh. I so have the wrong person up here. Rob, you got it. Sin City. Dude, you're doing zero okay. to one. Here's to the one. thing: is that he got that in 0.5 seconds. That's, that's what I, I want. never even got a that's chance the, to, that's to say the, a uh, thing. That's what the audience would like. In that whole moment. I'm gonna have two that I, I didn't really know. But what about Denver? I have no idea. <laughs> the Mile High City. Why is it that everybody on the floor knows, but the guy that I brought up here just doesn't know? I bad don't choosing care. Skills. Bad choosing skills. Okay. Please tell me you know what they call New York City. The concrete jungle? <gasps> Should we just, like, the Big Apple? Mm. Okay. He's being facetious. Is he doing that on purpose? Yeah. yeah. It's called the Concrete Jungle. Mm. Look at that. I up. don't know that you'll see T-shirts that say "Welcome to the Concrete Jungle." Yes, you I do. I think it's like 100%. the Big Apple. So welcome to the Concrete Jungle. We've got murder and crime. Yeah. And we've got we've the got big, with the Big Apple. Yeah. yeah. So, so you'll do the time. right, but Chicago, right? Yeah, it the is windy. windy. City. It's cold. Yeah. I mean, you would think the yeah. Windy City is. Yeah, I've been there. Don't don't like it. You don't like Chicago? Won't go back. I yeah. like parts of Chicago. But it's interesting because a lot of the buildings are named after certain politicians, people perhaps sure. who have had a long political career, who might Too long. or might not yep. be involved in the mafia or, you know, whatever. I, we're not saying that, but who knows? I mean, it's not easy to get a building named after We're us. probably saying that. Okay, go ahead. Somebody owes you a favor, <laughs> no doubt. So apparently, while the city is known for the blistering weather, mm -hmm. right, it's also... It could have a double meaning where it could be a reference per history.com, a jab at some of Chicago's most boastful citizens, i.e. politicians, mm. full of hot air. Oh, you were close. <sighs> uh. I mean, I hate to be the one to deliver that, but if the shoe fits. And it's not wrong. 
Do you know Chicago's second nickname? Chicago's second nickname would be... The second city. The second city. Actually, it's number three. It's New York, L.A., and Chicago's the third largest. But it's not called that because... It's the second of, city. It's the second city because the first one burned down. That is correct. I knew that. I knew that the first one burned down. Did you know that? No. <laughs> He can Why? never be chosen for any I, of the trivia. I segments don't sit ever around again. and learn random facts like these two. Okay. So. Well, just, just say something <laughs> very, very nice and something they'll remember and hold on to and want to come back next week for. Trust the process. I'm so sorry. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Trust the process. This is Mama, everybody. The Mid America Music Awards. Take it easy to begin with and then, like, introduce them to the next Then I'll pull them down. Oh. Like, either I can submit him like this. What would he do to get out of that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I felt like I was in that. He did. <laughs>